Hey everyone and welcome back. I have a Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul for you guys today. Um, I mentioned in my last video, which was my Back and Body Works semi-annual sale haul, that I had purchased a bunch of stuff from Victoria's Secret. So I actually placed an online order and then I did a little bit of in-store shopping as well. Um, so I figured I would share with you guys what I got. I am going to share um, some of the bras that I picked up. So if that is not your thing, you can just skip on past this video. Um, I will share the body care portion of it first, so you can stick around for that. Um, so the fr I first made my online purchase, but I will share that guy with you guys after. I went in and picked up some body care items. Um, I originally went into store to see if they had some more bras because there's one style that I really love from them, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And I was able to get them for a really, really good price. So I wanted to see if I was able to get any more in store. And unfortunately, they didn't have anything in my size. Um, and the bins still, like literally my size, was completely wiped out of the bins, which was a bummer. But um, I did pick up a few perfume items. So I had watched um, Maureen from Glitter and Groceries, her last uh, latest empties video, and she talked about this perfume. And she said that it was discontinued. Um, but you can hopefully get it during the semi-annual sale, which is the Incredible by Victoria's Secret. And that kind of stuck with me, and that, like, I didn't know anything about what it smelled like or anything, but I figured, you know what, why not just, like, see if they have it. So, I looked around for it, and I was able to find two bottles. I only bought one of them, just because, like I said, I couldn't find a tester for it anywhere, because it had been discontinued. Um, so I wasn't really able to, just, I didn't know what it smelled like, I was only able to go off what was on the back of the box. Um, and so it says bright magnolia, sparkling pear, and sultry sandalwood. And for me, that sounds perfect. That's something that I would love. I love like a little bit of a deep scent, but I also love like fresh floral, like girly scents. So I figured this would be right up my alley. Um, the bottle's cute. It's nothing like super special. The top is plastic and the bottom is glass. Um, this is a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. It retailed for $58. I was able to get this for 65% off, so it was $18 and some change, which I didn't have any coupons other than what the sale price was. For some reason, I shop at Victoria's Secret all the time, and I never get any, like, coupons. I don't know if they do anything other than, like, the angel rewards when you get their credit card, and I'm, I, I don't really want to do that. So I picked one of these up for $18, and it does smell really good. Um, so it's kind of hard to get off. Like, you can smell the deepness of it. Honestly, this, to me, smells like the Victoria's Secret store. Like, when you go in, and especially when you go towards, like, the cash registers and they have all the body care items, this is what the store smells like to me. And it smells really good. Like, you can smell the deepness, but you can also smell, like, the florals. I really do like that. Um, I might go back and s we'll see and maybe pick up the other one that I saw if it's still there because I do see myself using it. I don't think that it's as great as some of, like, the higher end perfumes as far as lasting power. I feel it look like it lasts more like a body spray rather than a perfume. Um, but for $18 and some change, I thought it was a good addition. And then the other one that I purchased was Bombshell and Bloom. And they had um, a sample, they had the lotion. So I was able to smell what it smelled like in the lotion. And um, this one is Pink Freesia, Red Apple, and Water Lily. And I, at first when I saw this, I was like, is this supposed to be like Miss Dewar Blooming Bouquet? And it's not like that at all. I actually own that perfume, and it's something that I wear almost daily. Um, and this doesn't smell anything like that. The bottle is really cute on this one. This one is also a 1.7 ounce bottle. Um, I would never travel with this because, the, like I said, the tops are plastic, and this flower would definitely bust. This one is more like sophisticated, floral. It doesn't have like that deepness to it. This is really good though. I really do like this one as well. Um, so I picked that one up. This was also $18 and some change. And then I picked up three little perfume misters. I actually have one in my purse so I don't have it to share with you guys. But this is from the Coconut line. These were originally $10 a piece. They're like little rollerball size but they have a spray top on them which is really nice. Um, the first one is Coconut Sky. Um, coconut Sea and then I have Coconut Sunset in my purse. They're all pretty similar. Um, this Coconut Sea one is definitely more like a fresh coconut scent where the other ones, um, this one's more like fruity which is the Coconut Sky and then the Sunset one is a little bit more like deep. Um, 
scent, but I figured I'm, we're going on a cruise um, in August, so I figured these would be perfect to throw in like my bag to go because then I have three scents that are a little bit more than body sprays, and then I can just take like one nice perfume, and I have plenty of scents to wear throughout the trip because um, I don't like just taking like one perfume and wearing that all the time. I'm not a big fan of that. So those were all the body care items I picked up. Um, this shopping trip was, oh, this is my Bath and Body Works receipt. I thought I lost that. I mentioned that in the video. I'm not sure what the receipt was. But for Victoria's Secret for this trip, it was $49.71. So I thought for two perfumes that are originally like $60 and these that are $10, $10 a piece, I did pretty good. Um, so I was really happy about those purchases. And then, like I said, I placed an online order for some bras. Um, three of them are actually, well, three of them are the type that I love. And then there was another one that I found that I just had to have. Um, for some reason, they're all pink. All of them are pink. And I, it just was what was left in my size in this style bra. So... The bra that I'm obsessed with is the Body by, by Victoria, it is the, where's the little thing on the inside, um, the push up. So these are my favorite style of bra, um, so I picked up three of them. I got this one that's kind of like a hot coral, it's coming off much more fluorescent than it really is, um, but it's more of just like a coral color. Um, and then I picked up this one, which is an all lace like front. Yeah, these are coming off way brighter than they are. These one, this one's more of a magenta, not so like highlighter pink. Um, that has the lace cups, which I thought was really pretty. And then they just had um, just like a baby pink one that has some gray detailing. So I picked those up. Um, they're originally. Let's see. Does it tell me what the original price is? It does not. Um, I want to say they're like. $54 or something like that a piece usually and I got them for $19.99 which was an amazing deal and then I also picked this one up which is a different style but I thought it would be really awesome for like um, racer back type tops because it's a true bra but it has like detailing in the back so this is the um, very sexy push up so it is a little bit different like so um, so it just has a lot of straps I thought it'd be really pretty under grace or back type top so I picked that one up this one is like neon pink see for some reason in the camera these two are looking pretty similar and they're actually really different in color but um, I want to get this one in black um, once it's back in stock but this is a $60 bra so this one's kind of a splurge item but that is everything that I picked up the bras all said and done were just under $100 after shipping. Um, I, I want to say it was like 98 bucks. So that is my Victoria's Secrets on my annual sale haul. Again, um, if you guys did a haul and you make YouTube videos, make sure to link them down below. I'd love to see um, everybody else's hauls. Obviously, we all have our own preferences when it comes to like bras and underwear and that sort of thing, um, even bathing suits. Their bathing suits are really small, and I'm not a small person, so I don't usually shop for like bikinis and that sort of thing there um and then I heard that they're actually discontinuing their swim swimwear line which is kind of shocking um I know that's like a big seller so a lot of people were able to get some really awesome swimsuits um for like dirt cheap so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned um for my next one if you are not subscribed to me make sure that you do subscribe so that you do not miss any of my future videos I will talk to y'all very soon and hope you guys have a great day Bye, everyone.